Clerk, please read the bill. Senate Bill 964, Michelle Welfare Service, Public Emergency. Recognize Senator Allen Bates, please. Thank you, Mr. President. Colleagues, Senate Bill 964, the Strengthening, Preserving, and Reunifying Family Act, requires the Department of Human Services and its, co its county partners to implement two new foster care programs. This act is a landmark change in our approach to at-risk children in Oregon. The on-track program in Jackson County has decreased the number of children in foster care by 50 percent from an average of 440 to 240 per month. This program has wraparound services to include drug and alcohol treatment, mental health treatment, and housing for at-risk families. The program in service for four years uh, has been shown not to only reduce the foster care rules, but has also been successful in preventing foster children from re-entering the system. The second program is, Oregon, is the Oregon Intercept Program, which is being piloted in Washington and Clackamas counties. This nationally proven program also focuses on intensive services to keep families together and prevent entry into the foster care system. This act allows for a careful expansion of these programs into other parts of states with these proven models. That said, these programs also recognize that not all families can be kept together due to the high risk and or actual abuse of children. These highly at risk children must be moved swiftly and permanently into safe environments through foster care and or adoption. The on-track program and the intercept program broaden the array of services and supports available ch to children who are now who, who are at risk of being in out-of-home care. This broader approach is critical to improving outcomes for these children and families. I'd also like to take a moment to commend Mrs. Lynn Saxton and Dr. Rita Sullivan for their pioneering work on these programs. This is an opportunity to truly change the outcomes for at-risk children in our state. The benefits to these children, to their families, and to our social system, our correction system, our educational systems are impossible to completely, to completely understand. Most of these kids end up dropping out of school. Many of them end up in our correction systems. These are children who have been abandoned by their families and society. This is a chance to rebuild those families, dramatically change the outcomes for these children. I urge and I vote. Thank you. Recognize Senator Betsy Johnson, please. Thank you. To the bill. To the bill. Colleagues, I congratulate the successful pilot projects, and I, but I want to put a special emphasis on one of the points made by the carrier. I will support this bill today, but we should remember that the guiding principle should always be the best interest of the child. Some families are regrettably simply too broken to be healed. We should have the courage to terminate parental rights when it's obvious that no amount of intervention can fix what's irreparably fractured. Thank you, Mr. President. Good night, Senator Lori Montesinos. Thank you, Mr. President. Colleagues, I'm amazed at, some, at what some of our local communities can do to make life uh, for our children better. And uh, Doc Bates, in his community in Southern Oregon and Clackamas County, are very lucky to have the locals develop a program and pilot it, and now it's good enough for the rest of the state. This new approach is really critical to improving outcomes for these children and families. We have to protect our kids, our foster kids, and we also have to help keep families together. This program is going to reduce the costs of foster care and help avoid other societal costs down the road. This will help with the strain on our mental health services, our alcohol and drug treatment, and the criminal justice system. I urge an I vote. Okay. Can I send a Jackie Winters, please? Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, I too rise in support of uh, Senate Bill 964, and I thank my colleague uh, and his community for all the wonderful work that they're doing uh, in their communities. And, uh, and just to piggyback a little, when we talk about strengthening families uh, and that family unity, uh, certainly there are those where that cannot take place. Uh, I uh, was the research and demonstration program 
time uh, director for termination of parental rights back in 19 in the 70s. Uh, and with that came the, uh, the, the focus that there are individuals who, uh, that termination is, is the result because the child uh, is in such danger and we should never let that happen. But also a part of even that particular initiative was the, uh, the process that said that you try as where you can to bring families together so that families, and families are, is the heart of our society and our nation. Uh, and where we can uh, keep them together that we so do that. And this particular initiative does that and it does something else. As a result of the work that it's doing, it's having a very uh, positive effect on foster care. Positive in the way that it's driving those numbers down. It also has an effect of looking at the extended family to where perhaps grandma or aunts and uncles become the custodian of these kids. No different than what we used to do years and years ago when there was something that happened into the family. Our extended family became that family. And I just want to thank the good senator for bringing this bill forward and I urge your eye vote. Is there further discussion of the measure, please? Would Senator Bates like to close? Question now rise upon a third reading the final passage of Senate Bill 964. All those the opinion bills passed say aye. Those opposed, no. Clerk, please call the roll. Ferrioli. Aye. George. Gerard. Haas. Johnson. Aye. Cruz. Monis Anderson. Monroe. Aye. Morse. Nelson. Olson, Brzezinski, Rosenbaum, Rosenbaum, Shields, Starr, Telfer, Thompson, Verger, Whitsett, Winters, Atkinson, Bates, Bayer, Bonamici, Boquist, Burdick, Devlin, Devlin, Dingfelder, Edwards, President Courtney. Yes. Excused, Burdick, Edwards, 20 dies. The Senate Bill 964, having received a constitutional majority, is declared passed. <laughs>